Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Winback and on today's episode of Pokemon Unite we're going to be playing Charmeleon, ah, Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard. And I'll tell you just what I think about this character and uh, where they sit on a tier list of good versus bad Pokemon. But it's a YouTube video so feel free to like, comment, subscribe your heart out. And we can get into the build here. We are playing Jungle Charizard so remember that is pretty probably the best place to be uh playing in lane feels bad feels worse than garchomp honestly if we're being uh, completely clear on what this character is capable of but um all that being said your uh your build is going to be muscle band number one it is going to allow charizard and the very special auto attacks that he has to shred high health characters uh, so Muscle Band, then we're going to be using Razor Claw and Scope Lens, and both of those are going to be very important on Charizard because the lower health Charizard has, the higher crit rate it has as well. That means that when you pop your Unite move, you're going to be able to do lots and lots and lots of auto attack damage, and it's going to crit very, very, very often. So, all that being said, those are your three items. Again, it's Muscle Band, uh... Razor Claw and Scope Lens, all of that stuff. Super important, and probably, since we're in the jungle, it's going to be a lot easier for us to farm up, to evolve faster, to get our Unite move, which is the most important thing about Charizard, because Seismic Slam is a massive, massive buff. Even if it does have a couple really, really uh, big downsides. But, all that being said, uh, that, yeah, that's, that's about it for the setup. Our abilities are going to be uh, Fire Spin and, sorry, not Fire Spin, Fire Blast and Fire Punch. Fire Punch uh, and the upgrade later on are going to help you get uh, more movement, more damage in a big AoE. It's going to help you kind of get in to places that you need to be. And uh, the cooldown is going to be reduced when you hit targets, uh, multiple targets that are burned, which is where Fire Blast comes in because it is a massive AoE that will burn and slow people. Now, uh, Flare Blitz, while I think the implementation of the move is cool, the fact that it is not unstoppable uh, and it requires a very, very short range for you to hit makes it pretty pathetic, uh, if, if we're being perfectly honest. The amount of times that you can just get interrupted at random as I get shredded by the Absol is, uh, is way too high. Uh, especially with Greedent and uh, him being so popular with Covet, you'll basically never, ever get to use Flare Blitz in a way that's meaningful to your, your game. So, I wish it was good. It's not. Let's forget about it and move on. Fire Blast is just way better. Uh, it's huge. Gives you a very, very large AoE damage and slow. So, we're just going to try to rip the Dreadnought. Hopefully our Wigglytuff can zone the other Wigglytuff while we do this because we do deal a lot of damage to high health targets. And as you can see, the Scope Lens, the Razor Claw, and the Muscle Band are doing overtime right now, shredding that Dreadnought, getting us our Seismic Slam and our final evolution. We are the Zard. And maybe we can get an easy turn in here too? Or at least a kill. Let's go ahead and Seismic Slam the Wigglytuff, burn her from the sky and now this is one of the big problems with seismic slam you can't turn in while you are in the air and you cannot cancel your ultimate early so if you're looking for a quick kill with the seismic slam uh or a quick ko i suppose with the seismic slam so you can get a turn in easy uh it's uh, it's not gonna happen fast because you can't cancel it you can't turn in uh, you can't even use your abilities while you are in the air, which is super unfortunate because your abilities on Charizard are very important. Uh, but ultimately, once you use the Seismic Slam and you're in the air and you're unstoppable, your autos are going to be your biggest form of damage. They are full AoE. I don't know why you're here, Cram, but, you know, can you fuck off? Oh, no, you just want to take my crab. I get it. My core fish. <sighs> Whatever. Um... Yeah, anyway. Uh, so back to Charizard. Charizard, uh, again, in lane. Wow, this is just an easy triple kill, isn't it? Absolutely massacred in the top lane. Thank God Venusaur was there to soften everybody up for me while we go in, fire punch them, and fire blast them to death. But 
<laughs> oh my god, a 29 point turn in as well. The starters from Gen 1 are absolutely on fire and in a in a pot because they're plants. Get it? I don't see what I did. I don't know. It was a little bit of a stretch. Let's see if we can get the Pikachu out here. And there it is. Nice and toasty, even under his goalpost. There's nothing that he can do to get away. I want to fight Garchomp too. I've got the slam. Let's see if it's enough to kill him. He is wasting his ultimate, missing almost all of them. <laughs> and then Wigglytuff is going to take us out at the very last moment. Unfortunate. Now, uh, Charizard is... For all intents and purposes, just his uh, uh, his final evolution. His final evolution and his ultimate are the... He actually... He didn't. He didn't take it because Wigglytuff is way too cool. Absol... Ah, just getting stolen out from underneath the Dreadnought. Um, what was I saying? No? Oh, yeah. So, uh, Charizard, the, uh, the final evolution has the most health. It's going to give you the most range on your autos because as Charizard evolves, his auto attack range gets farther. Um, but both Charmander and Charmeleon have the unfortunate uh, have the unfortunate responsibility of being the uh, the shitty versions of Charizard. And because it takes so long to get to Charizard, because it's so hard to gain XP with Charmeleon and Charmander. You really, really want to have this character in the jungle. It's kind of like the Garchomp Syndrome um, from where Garchomp was previously, but uh, it is it is almost impossible, I feel like, with Charmander to be um, getting XP in the lane. It's... it's Just pass. Just, just pass. If you can get Char Charizard in the jungle, though, if you can actually pick up the buffs, which are extremely helpful with his auto attacks... Um, I can't believe there's just a Pikachu in our jump. I can't believe the Pikachu actually made it off of the launch pad. What? Excuse me, sir. Oh, all right. You know what? I, I commend you for making it off the launch pad, but I couldn't let you go. That's just, that was an egregious escape. But it looks like we're absolutely stuck. Dumping this game. Zero goal zones up, but Blastoise is just getting an easy turn in all by himself because for whatever reason, my team feels like it's their responsibility to continue turning in on the final tower. Oh, and the Garchomp's just going to get it too. I figured maybe the Blastoise was the only one, but we've lost our first goal post of the game. <sighs> and that's disappointing, to say the least. But, um, you know. Win some, lose some, I'm sure. That's... Uh, okay, and Blastoise is still turning in while Cramorant's running in the middle of the map. I'm at least farming, uh, trying to get buffs, trying to get, you know, ready for the Zapdos fight. As far as Cramorant's concerned, I have no idea what the plan is. Uh, just gotta dodge the Garchomp ult. Cannot get hit by that right before the Zapdos fight. Hopefully, this is still going to go our way because our team does still have to come over here and try to end the game by either killing the enemy team. I don't want to get Blastoise ulted. That's why I wasn't anywhere near him. Um, yeah, we have to we have to go in there. I don't want to go in this way. Oh my god. Okay, we did get it. Venusaur got it. Thank God. The guy who knows how to secure the uh, alt or secure the Zapdos uh, was paying attention to it. And now we're just gonna fly over all the terrain with our speed from our Unite move and show the enemy team all of our balls directly in their uh, base hole. And then maybe, no, we're dead. We're definitely dead. This is how I die. I, just, I can't believe he didn't burn to death. Or burn to knockout, burn to KO. I don't know. What are we calling it? The Fire Blast uh, did not ignite him. So, Garchomp lives to fight another day. And now I have to wait my entire lifespan to come back at the end of the game. And uh, I, the, why the Cramorant is on the right side of the map, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, there are literally things to be doing while defending these towers. While Garchomp just gets a casual 80 points on the top side and then will kill me. Um, but you know what? Cramorant had to get some get some turn-ins on the uh, 
on the goal zone that can't be destroyed. And he's actually just going to get shit upon by the Wigglytuff as well, because the player has zero clue. Not that it was close, but still, like, fuck that guy. Anyway, that's it for Charizard. It's uh, Muscle Band, Scope Lens, Razor Claw, again, if you need it. And make sure that you are farming all the XP that you can, preferably in the jungle, because that is the safest place to do it. That's it for me. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll play some Lanes Aurora tomorrow. See how that goes, and I'll uh, see you then. Bye!